Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking through this topic mass, weight, and density. And for this particular lesson, we are going to cover mass. We want to get to know what is mass and uh, how do you calculate mass. And uh, possibly some of the units that are used for measuring mass and how we are able to convert the units from one form to another like how do you convert maybe from grams to kilograms and things like that so we have questions that will be helping us on illustrations involving mass and then of course at the end of the lesson we'll be having some assignment just to help you practice on uh, what we are going to cover during this lesson. So mass is basically the quantity of matter in an object or in a body and is measured in kilograms. So mass we use the symbol M and uh, kilograms we use the symbol kgs. Kg, Kg, that is kilograms. Like this one here is read as kilograms, 0 0.1 kilograms, 0 0.01 kilograms, 0 0.001 kilograms, and 1000 kilograms. <clears throat> so these prefixes are also used in uh, converting units in uh, mass, just like hecto, you know. Deca. See? And kilo. Even milli. This the same units, the same the same prefixes that we we used when we are talking about unit conversions on length are still used here. For example, if you talk about two kilograms, so this K here stands for kilo, which is a thousand. The factor is a thousand. So two by a thousand. Grams. So this is 2000 grams. So when you remove K, you replace it by 1000. See? So maybe you could be having 2 milligrams. So M here stands for milli. You know? So if you remove it, milli we say it is uh, 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 1 over 1000 or, or, or 0 0.001 over gram. So that is 0 0.002 grams you see so the prefixes we used in uh, converting units for length area we also use them here you know and they are very very important when it comes to unit conversion so the formula that can be used to calculate mass one you can use mass is equals to weight divided by gravity So we want to see how you can convert this unit. So one ton, one ton is equals to a thousand kilograms. You know, it's a special unit uh, used to to measure mass. So if you have four tons. How many kilograms are those? So that is four times one thousand, which is four thousand kilograms. That is very basic. Very, 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 very basic. So what about this? We are supposed to convert it to kilograms. So I know kilograms can be converted to grams. So let me convert this to grams first. So we have uh, so we have this M here stands for milli, and milli is one over a thousand. So we have uh, seven, eight, eight, nine. 
times 1 over 1,000, which is the, the value for milli over gram. So you multiply the numerators, that is 7, 8, 8, 9 over 1,000 grams. So the decimal point will be shifted to the left. Number of steps, that is equal to the number of zeros in the denominator. So we have 1, 2, 3. So that equals to 7.889 grams. So I have 1 kilogram. Kilo stands for 1,000 is 1,000 grams. What about 7.889 grams? How many kilograms will these ones be? So again, cross multiplication will give us 7.889 you multiply by 1 and then you divide by another 1000. So again, the decimal point will have to move 1, 2, 3, 3 steps. So we have this equals to 0 0.007889 kilograms. So number two, John requires two point, okay. 2,100 kilograms of sand to construct his house. How many lorries of sand will he buy if one lorry carries seven tons? So we have to convert this to, to tons. And then you divide by the, the number of tons in one lorry to get the number of lorries. So let's get the mass in tons. So this is going to be mass in kilograms. You divide by 1000. So this is going to be 2100 0, 0, divided by 1000. So what is this? So the decimal point will have to shift to the left again. Three steps. One, two, three. So this is 2.1 tons. So the number of lorries should be equal to the number of tons divided by 7. So that is 2.1 divided by 7. And so we just need... Uh, A half a lorry, this is 0 0.3. So this is just one lorry. Actually, the number of lorries now in this case, it will not even be one, it will be a third of like three over ten of, of, of a lorry. You know. So there is a textbook that has 300 leaves. Each leaf has a mass of 500 milligrams. And the cover is 20 grams. Find the mass of the book in kilograms. So mass should be equal to 300. You multiply by the number of, by the, the mass of each leaf, which is 500. And then you add to the mass of the cover, which is 20. So this is 15. You add the four zeros, 150,000, and you add to 20. So before you add this 20, uh, you'll have to divide because this is going to give us the mass in milligrams. So you'll have to maybe convert this to grams by dividing by 1,000. And then you add the 20 grams. So then this is going to be 1, 5, and 4 zeros. Then you divide by 1,000. Then you add 20. So 0 cancels zeros. So you have 150 grams. You add it to the 20 grams. And you have 100 and 
70 grams. So you have now mass in kilograms should be equal to mass in grams divided by 1000. So what is this? So mass in grams is 170. So you divide this by 1000. Again, the decimal point will move to the left three steps. So what is that? 0 0.17 kilograms so that is uh, how we go about this that is how you are able to find the mass of that so you multiply the mass of each leaf times the number of leaves and then you add the mass of the cover and then uh, you will find that mass in milligrams. So divide it by a thousand to change it to grams. And then add the mass in grams. And then now you have total mass in grams. And then finally you convert it to kilograms. So that is all. We have a few questions here again to help you practice on what you've been learning during this lesson. You can always attempt when done. You can always be posting on the comment section. We'll be looking at it and giving feedback in the due course. Otherwise, that is all for now. Until next time, goodbye.